Welcome to GUESS, the graph exploration system. GUESS is intended to provide users with visualization and analysis functions for graphs and networks. The visualization system is based on Piccolo and provides an infinite plane with infinite zoom. GUESS menus are pared down to bare essentials to avoid confusing users. However, basic functions such as layouts are provided. Although this behavior can be changed, by default, mousing over nodes and edges provides a visual highlight. Clicking on them results in automatic zooming to the area of interest. The power of GUESS is primarily in its language, which we call Jython. Jython is a domain-specific embedded language based on the popular Python language. Users may enter simple commands like 2 plus 2 in the interactive interpreter and receive a response. GUESS automatically binds all objects in the graph to the interpreter namespace. As soon as the user loads a graph, they can begin to manipulate nodes and edges by name. For example, here we zoom in on node V4. Visual properties can easily be set. For example, the color or the node shape and style. Jython uses simple operators to specify edges. For example, this command would find the directed edge between V4 and V5. Since this graph is undirected, we would like to make use of a different operator. Note that we can apply the same syntax as before to change the visual properties. Guess allows arbitrary data to be bound to any node or edge. This graph happens to be a social network, and nodes have a textual department property. Edges have a frequency of communication, which is a numeric property. Because Jython contains a query language as part of its syntax, users may issue commands to select elements of interest. Here we ask for all edges that have a frequency of communication greater than 196 messages a week. We can visually highlight these nodes and edges as before. The query language also supports Boolean expressions. For example, we can select all nodes at either Department 3 or Department 9 and highlight them. We can also pinpoint the edges between them. Although users may very easily implement their own visual annotation functions, GUESS provides a number of easy methods to map data to visualization. For example, the colorize function here will assign random colors based on the department. We could also color each edge based on the frequency from red to blue. A new feature of GUESS is the generation of legends. Here we generate a legend for the colors. Note how we may ask fields for minimum and maximum values. We can also pull a representative node from each department and place those in another legend. A novel component in GUESS is the integration between the visualization and interactive interpreter. Users frequently have a difficult time determining which elements and results map to which elements in the display. GUESS allows users to mouse over the textual content in the interpreter to easily find nodes and edges. Notice how this works for both individual nodes and groups. For many functions, GUESS will annotate groups with some indication of why they were generated. At the top of each tooltip, we find the grouping criteria. GUESS supports pop-up menus contextualized to selected items. Right-clicking on a node will show the menu option for nodes. Right-clicking on selected subgroups provides a more general menu. In order to unify different components, the same pop-up menus appears when right-clicking on the visualization. Another feature is the ability to easily map between visual nodes and the interpreter. We may select edges or nodes in the graph visually and submit those. Here we'll set it to variable test. Due to the design of our event system, we can easily extend this interactive mapping to other visualization components. In GUESS, we wrote a simple command to generate pie plots based on sizes of groups using a representative object to determine the color. 
As we mouse over elements in one visualization, the appropriate group in the other is emphasized. Notice again how this works with the interpreter. For users interested in more than static images, Guest provides a number of ways in which the application can be modified. Because Guest is built in Java with Jython, users can add widgets to the display. Here a slider bar controls the threshold at which edges are displayed. In this next example, a network simulator generated a graph and is loading each edge with a different level of traffic at each time step. Edges are colorized based on this load, and nodes are colored based on the average load of the edges they are connected to. A heartbeat monitor at the bottom of the graph keeps track of the average load. You've seen some of Guess's many features. Here are screenshots of a few more.